I ordered this plaid flannel online and when it arrived I saw with horror that it was a print fabric. That rendered it only suitable for nightwear because I'm a picky dresser. I used a pattern of my 1893 drawers which I can highly recommend. I also used a pointed yoke pattern of my 1904 drawers. I cut the pieces from a single layer fabric because after pre-washing the flannel the pattern became rather distorted. I didn't have enough fabric so I had to cut my pyjama bottom too short. After cutting one piece I used it as a pattern for the other, carefully matching the plaid pattern of the fabric. I had to take third direction to properly match the pattern. Only now could I sew the seams. I started with the center front and back seams. I preferred the wrong side, so I decided that that would be visible. It wasn't perfect, but it turned out quite nice. I turned the allowance to one side and secured it with a catch stitch. Next I sewed the legs. I could sew them as one continuous seam. I cut the yoke, since the pattern of the fabric was distorted, I could only do this with some difficulty. I wanted a side placket, so I made one side of the back yoke 2 cm longer for the overlap. I 
I cut the corners. I cut an opening on one side, I made it 16 cm long. I cut a strip for the placket. You need to make it twice as long as the opening, but I always make it much longer because of fear of ending up with a too short strip. I also usually cut it much wider than needed. I overcut the edges of the opening and strip. Then I stitched along the opening near the edge. I cut the strip more narrow, I also removed a quarter of the strip, but I made sure the wider portion and it's somewhat over the center. I folded the wide portion over the seam, I can stitch the edge. I turned the narrow portion as well and catch stitch the edge. I stitched down the bottom of the placket. I get at the top of the drawers and attach the yoke. I made tiny stitches along the top edge of the yoke. This helps to control the stretch of the yoke.
I clipped a corner to reduce barking. I whip the edge of the inside yolk. To make like bands, I cut two rectangles of a pretty random size. I only made sure I would be able to put my feet through the band. I get a stitch to legs. I mesh the leg and bend right sides together. I try to distribute the gathers evenly. I sewed the seam and clipped the allowance. I turned the edge of the band. I folded the band and whipped it. I am going to use snaps to fasten the placket because I dread making buttonholes. They are hideous and unflattering but will be hidden under the cover. I need to get some more fabric to make the shirt. 